And I think she sees it. <laughs> I think they see it, bro. Oh, is this milk grenade heart getting flicked? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. He's good. He's good. He's coming back. He's coming back. He's coming back. Go, go, pick him up. Pick him up. Pick him up. What the fuck are you doing? Get in Harry. <laughs> Dude, they're fucking dead. I'm looking on the ground. She's fucking out. Oh, she's fucking dead. Yeah, go for it. Go ahead, man. Take that. It's all good. Tony, how's it Hello? going? Hey, what's going on, Ray? What's going on? Listen, I, I'm i aware, you know, you lied to me in the situation. I'm aware of everything that's going on. I just need, and I'm willing to speak to you about it. I just need to tell you some things going forward, okay? I'm not going to hurt you. I promise that actually some Redline members are going to be here with us. It's going to be Sar and LG. Yeah, yeah. I mean, what's, what's you know, what's going on? All right. Okay. See you there, Tony. Bye bye. Okay. Bye bye. Dell and Daphne. If I can get. I thought everyone got his bail. He then had professional bodyguards to protect himself from Lang and company. Stipulation of the bail: no guns, no drugs, or any arrestable offenses. Also, Raymond is not allowed on any Cerberus premises. View on a rooftop, right? So you can surveil routes in and out of the warehouse. Before Raymond steps foot inside the warehouse, Oscar, myself, and JT will give it a quick sweep. Just to make sure there isn't anyone lying in wait for Raymond. All right, security guys, you can stay around here on the bar, right? Gotcha. I'll be right back. This door is locked. Huh. Hey, what's up, guys? Yeah, this seems like a good huh. video, so I'm going to watch it. <laughs> take a seat. Take a seat. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking to Ray. I didn't realize the whole classroom was going to come here. Yeah. Oh, that's okay. Don't worry. Hey, Tony. We are just hoping for the best. At nah, that's all good. Why is everybody here? I don't, I, didn't, I don't know. I have no idea what's going on with other people. I just bought some security guards to make sure everything's all right, you know? Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Don't worry. It's okay. So what's going on, right? Well, first, Tony, before we get going, there's no cameras in here or anyone listening in that room, is there? Because I want to have a one what room. Well, the room to the right there, you know. Right, not to be that guy, but... You said you want to have a one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, I got two people on my right. I got what? some two people at the bar. <laughs> I got Kitty over there on the phone. Oh, I probably got your whole squad outside, you know what I mean? Like, no, this here. is about as one-on-one -on -one as it's going to get. All right, all right, Tony, fine. You know, nah, you're good. Let's, let's, let's talk real quick, okay? All right. Oh, shit. All right. You all right. lied to me. I know. I know. You assisted people in hurting family. Okay. To be honest. They, they were to in be there. honest. Right. To be frank. <laughs> I didn't it? know what was going to happen. You know what I mean? Like, listen, I'm going to be honest. <laughs> I, I didn't even, you know what I mean? I didn't even do too much. You didn't do too much? Tony, did you did you put the camera down in the uh, visitation room? You found it. Yes, they found it. The people on the outside, oh, cops, shame. everything like that. Oh shame! So you're aware of it. Aware, of the camera? Yeah. Nah, I don't remember that. You just. <laughs> Wait, you just yelled. You filmed it. <laughs> on what? I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying. I'm just fucking. Yeah, yeah. Listen, listen, listen. I yes, but like, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? No, motherfucker. I don't know what you're saying. I know that you potentially put the fucking camera down. But did I? I don't know. I asked you. Listen, man. <laughs> Had to be someone. Speech, dude. Tony, you motherfucker, so what do you mean bad. it had to be someone? I mean, can't, I mean it's like okay, you know, you casino you go and, um, I, I mean, it's gotta be something. Then, it's gotta be something. It can't be now. You know what I mean? It's uh, gotta be something. Yeah, yeah but it couldn't have been no one. Yeah, you know what I mean? No, it couldn't have been no one. It had to be someone that it was involved. <laughs> you... You walked out where Booth and fucking Harry and... I don't know who the hell else were there. Listen, but I didn't know somebody was gonna fucking run in there, go Rambo fucking... You know, whatever the fuck, right? You know what I mean?
So that wasn't the plan to set up a camera oh, and to yeah. go in there and shoot everyone down. Mickey did it. Mickey did it. Well, I mean, obviously, fucking Mickey did it. <laughs> and he snitched. What the fuck? The only people that were seeing were booed and hearing you. Well, obviously, you didn't fucking see him. Harry did it without a mask on. <laughs> well, that's Harry. What? Listen, man, I. I'm just telling her how it is. <laughs> Motherfucker, what do you mean you're telling it how it is? I told you, Tony. You no, know, Mickey, he's a sneaky guy. He does what he does, you know what I mean? What, he, he put a fucking hairy brown voice modulator on and put his fucking skin on? Listen, man, I, I have no idea. I have no idea. All, all I'm trying to figure out is, look, I'm in a, you know, uh, a weird situation. You know what I mean? It's like, you know... I got you know. some business ventures I have you know. to do with you, you know. Yes, I got I'm aware. Some close friends, you know what I mean? You know. The whole thing. It's just like you know what I mean? It's a it's you a know lot. What I mean? you it's know? a lot. And I really, you oh, know, I'm don't know how to handle it too much to be honest. And it's like I, I'm not you know, I'm not I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure what to think of things, you know. You know, listen, I understand what happened. Ask you know what I mean? I understand question. what happened, but like why did I get a call? you know, immediately right after, you know what I mean? And got a call that, hey, listen, you know, Tony, you're done. You know, we're coming after you. And then fucking, yeah, and then Perez some bitch boy called me from a fucking unknown number saying, oh, you know, you know, calling me up and all this shit. And it's like, how could you do this? And, you know, you're a little you bitch and all you do is race. And I'm like, are you fucking Wait, serious? Uh, whatever the fuck his name is. Uh, fucking, he's, he's a dumbass. He's, he's like, Oh, fucking Bruno. Yeah, yeah, Bruno. That was him. Bruno called you and said... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was, Bruno was being a fucking cock. So I just don't understand why. Listen, I, I get what happened, right? But also, like, people told me they were going to kill me. You know what I mean? And then, listen, you told I, I me heard a that we were going to talk, and then other people were saying that they were going to kill me, so I didn't know it was going to happen. And what's this shit about you wanting to kill Goofy? What is that about? Let's, Goofy let's, had nothing to do with this. Let's talk. All right, Tony. So just to clarify some Ray things. Ray wants to kill Number Goofy, one, huh? As soon as Perez, who was there with me, saw that Cassie, his girlfriend, was bleeding out on right. the ground due to Harry, he right. might have made calls, which is the call to you, before even right. talking to me. He just immediately said, I'm going to kill you, right? And I understand his perspective. It's his girlfriend. So yeah, he's I mean, been that's what he said. He said, time. Tony, you're done. You better run. Yes, that's, that's, I understand yeah. his perspective. But I told him, and I, even though he's my high command, I told him, hey, listen, just wait. Yeah, Listen to me. Yeah. Wait, yeah. let me speak to Tony. Maybe there's something right. we can salvage if you weren't directly involved. Right. The problem is right. we find out you are directly involved. So this is where we are. And I want to see, Tony, you didn't shoot anyone, but you were there. And you potentially assisted Buddha and, and Harry from getting away from the situation. I don't know if the fuck the, the whole thing happened on the outside. All I know is that you were there. You potentially put the camera down. That's all there is to it. And you told me you would stay out of it. The, the number... One thing I need to make clear here, right? The people that got killed in the visitation room were Ray's homies, right? I'm assuming maybe some rest members. Obviously, someone close to Ray, right? Because and lawyers. Okay. Ray's lawyers, friends and lawyers. Okay. Number one thing I want to clarify, Tony, is I am willing you genuinely look past it lawyers, because you are not the idiot and that and shot the AK-47 at my, my lawyers and my family. <laughs> I'm willing oh, to look just past said it. it. That's crazy. Because I know we want to go into business together and because you are family That's to so me. Crazy. I'm willing to look past and give you another Tell chance. Tell him you wish you were The problem is no I don't want you to get involved again. That's where things start getting a little bit more difficult. Damn. I get what you're what is, what is... You know what I mean? I understand what you're saying. You know, I, I get it. I get it. You know, and um, to be quite you know, honest, I... I feel like <laughs> not this again. You maybe should realize who you're talking to too, you know? No, of course, Tony. I mean, listen, at the end of the day, I know your relationship with Buddha. I know everything. Like we've been over this hundreds of times. But you're also still someone I consider family and someone who shares a lot of family through Redline. Right. Why forfeit all of that to get involved in a conflict? There's no reason for it. You know what I mean? Lang doesn't need your help. He has dogs like Harry Brown that will do anything he says. Hey, don't say that about Harry, all right? Harry's not a dog. He's a fucking person, okay? You might have that dog in him, but he's not a dog, all right? Right, right. 
Listen, I mean, this whole situation's a little, you know, crazy. I mean, I never thought I would see this in a million years. Actually, that's a lie. I knew this would happen. But what are I you mean, walking right here? Listen, Ray, I understand, you know, you got your whole group and your whole thing. And however, all the shit started is how it started. But you know, listen, look, I'm not here to get the threats. You know what I mean? That's why, you know, I, I didn't have a talk with you to be told, listen, you know, stay out of it or else pretty much. I mean, because that's what you're saying. But I understand that. I mean, I, I get it to an extent. But no, I mean, I, listen, you know, I got a business to run to. Whatever happens, happens. I mean. It's it's just it's hard, you know what I mean? It's it's, it's hard. It's a it's a it's a hard uh, it's a, it's a hard choice to take. You know what I mean? If we can, like, I don't, I don't mean to kill be, him, be a dick. Please, but. if we can. Am I saying? I'll, I'll tell you how it is. I'll tell you how it is. Tell me how it is. When I moved to this city, there was four motherfuckers that I started with. Okay. Yes. Avon Barksdale. Lame Buddha and Al Sab. Oh no! Wait, what's gonna go down Those here? Those boys will, and I'm sorry to say this, or sneeze? come before anyone else in the city, no matter what. Okay. Um, well, that's three, but we don't talk about the fourth. Um, but if you're saying that, Tony, when I came to the city, you're one of the first group of six people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that yeah, is yeah, why I'm sitting that, here. Yeah, willing yeah, to give you another chance yeah tony if this was anyone else they'd already be dead you understand me like i would not have held the rest boys back i just yeah, I know, want I know, Hawk. I know, to extend hiding. this yeah. opportunity to you so right. that we can mend our relationship what is yeah. wrong with that you know and Frey and tony went to war yeah i mean i guess i mean the way i look at it is like i said uh buddha and the boys are my day ones and i'll always have their sign and you know i hate to be kind of the bearer of bad news and the dick about things, but I will always have, and I, I know this is going to make you upset, but I'm really sorry. Uh, this is just how it is, and I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I'll always have Buddha's back uh, before yours, and, um, you know, Tony, however that comes I, down will come down fine. at the time. So I already know that's the case. So is it something that you're willing to get involved in the conflict? It's not like this is news to me, Tony. I the know the way it works is, right, is if, like, um... What, if Buddha says to you to shoot Raymond, you're going to do it? Is that what you're saying? Well, Buddha doesn't control me, right? What I'm saying is, it's like, that's my boy. And you're my boy too, but you have to understand that uh, that's what I started with. And I have so much history with him that, I mean, there's nothing I wouldn't do for the guy. Really? Nothing? So if it got to the point to where I needed to do something about it than i would so that's what i'm trying to say if it gets to that length which it seems like it's going down then i gotta do what i gotta do you know but uh it's it's weird because we obviously have a history too it's weird yeah i'm sorry about this tony i need your answer do you want to repair our relationship and still work together in business and still maintain the relationship between rust and redline and i mean more... i'll still do business with you you know what i mean uh, i'll do business with anybody um business at the end of the day is business that's strictly what it is and with the stuff that i told you i uh, you know i feel like i uh, feel like there's a lot of great business to be had but to Dude, an extent like i said around the questions who's my boy uh started day one so if it gets to the point to where i need to step in then i will and i guess that's what i'm trying to tell you i wonder if he's saying this because i'm pretty sure they're right there i wonder if he's saying it because they're there or they're corrupting it, or if this is actually something Tony Corleone would say. Mm. Mm. Yeah. And you're being truthful right now, Tony, right? Oh, I mean, I'm being truthful as can be. I will, it will take me time to grasp it a little bit. But if that's the case you want to take, I just want you to know, Tony, it's, I'm not going to try to hurt you, and I never do want to. And I'm going to say it. I'm not going to have the Rust Boys hunt you until you do something dumb, all right? So please, for God's sake... Try, just for God, just stay out of it as much as you can. You're a smart man. You've got red line. You've got family. Buddha will always be your brother, even if you don't assist him in this conflict. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate and it. And you know that, right, Tony? You know yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, listen, like, like I said before, just remember who you're talking to as well. You're talking to the big boss. 
All right. 25 racers deep. Okay. I could turn this shit to a whole game real quick. <laughs> Come for your title. You don't want to fuck around, right? I'm, I'm sorry, are you threatening me with red line? <laughs> Ray, you're threatening me with rust. I, which is valid. To be honest, it's valid. I'm not threatening with rust. I'm saying I'm holding rust back, actually. I'll hold my racers back. You you want to have your racers shoot at Damn, rust. I understood. <laughs> All these fucking gangs. Dude, yeah, Tony trying to act cool. To, you know, and like... Big, all you Level motherfuckers is so pay twenty, fifty thousand dollars for your fucking guns, right? Uh huh. Wait till you're on the road, crossing you the know. street. GTR R35 comes by, <laughs> shatters your whole fucking body. You know what it cost me? Five thousand dollars. So I'm just saying, watch out. Next time you cross the street, you might want to check the light a little bit. What does VDM stand for? Maybe I'll make sure the racers aren't as safe anymore. Right. Mm. What is VDM? If I do hear anybody wants to go after any of my friends to get at me, I will make sure I stop at no red lights, and I will make sure that every Rust member gets hit by a car going v 75 miles an hour plus, vehicle ran over match. twice, and oh. double back. Okay. All right. And I'm sure you have guns, and will turn us into Swiss cheese. Well, I would try to avoid that, Tony. I told you I don't want to really and hurt I would you. I'm trying to avoid the cars running into people but i'm telling you as a racing crew a lot of people think that we don't have you know anything to give other than us driving but i tell you what i'll drive your ass into a wall you know what i mean what <laughs> well not you but oh okay i mean maybe wait what kind of are we talking about metaphorically <laughs> i mean possibly i mean listen you never know you know what i mean Maybe one day I come to pick up a rush member and give him a ride as a taxi car driver. And next thing you know, somebody gets a little too drunk behind the wheel and crashes into oh. a cement wall. And next thing you know, a rush member's gone. You know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. Jesus. I don't want that for you. I don't want that for you and your family. You know, these are the things that I don't want to have to happen. You know what I mean? All right. Okay. Just don't make me bring Liberty City here. I will. What? <laughs> you heard me. <laughs> Did you... <laughs> I'm bringing them up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yes. Yes, you're going to die when you walk outside. It's going to be a fucking sniper, 45 caliber. You're going to be fucking shot in the ground. You're going to be dead. All your Rust members are going to come out from the fucking trenches. And you're going to be fucking lifted off into a fucking goddamn helicopter. Taken away into a private island where you're going to be fucking tortured by Harry Brown and fucking lame booted. <laughs> no, right? I'm not gonna lie, Tony. That all sounds very realistic, especially with the Jaeger's Island. I'm, well, yeah, I mean, I'm just, of course, Harry Brown, and I mean, anything yeah, can I, happen. But yeah. that's that's how you know. You know what I mean? That could happen. I mean, it's not gonna happen, but it could. You know what I mean? Tony, is that gonna happen? Now I'm worried. You should be worried. Hey, you guys, you guys out there are good, right? <laughs> hey, we should definitely have a conversation about that's this. The guy Wait, who I hate wears the security bomber jacket. guys. I swear to God, if I see them outside of this, I'm gonna stab them. Why do you hate my security? They're fucking rude. They're the only people between me and the <gasps> fucking maniacs that call themselves servers. Um, they should be professional. Is he going to do it? Instead of just they being like, I'd rather stay thanks and be like, he hi, hello, we're the security detail for Mr. Raymond Romanov. Hey, listen, respectfully speaking, I told them to just protect me. And that's what they're doing. Yeah, of course. I mean, listen, Tony. And this is the way. Nah, Except for that guy. Tony! Oh, no. <laughs> we're good, we're good, we're good. Yeah, we're, yeah. we're good, we're good. <laughs> You can keep right, Oscar. On, Oscar is good. He, he was right, really sure, professional. You should have seen your face. <laughs> Motherfucker, I saw my security's face. I thought you were planning something. I was like, the oh, fuck? I brought legal security here. I was going to ask. I was real that to the meeting. Yeah, I like... Show Thank God I didn't shoot chat. My stuttering is way too bad. Oh, thank you for having right, the meeting. Hey, be safe. Take it too, easy, man. all right? Uh, Whatever happens, it, happens. Yeah. But like I said, just remember what we talked about. I will remember. I do want to work still you. with you on that, by the way. I'm just saying. You know what? Yeah. 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 yeah, we'll do that another day, all right? You guys take it easy, okay? Take it easy, too. All right. And next time you see Harry Brown, tell him I said fuck Harry Brown. <laughs>